Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my corner of the world. This time we are here for another Enigma reaction, International Nerdcore, uh, for his Ace song, I believe. This would be the title here, uh, Shama or Shama. I don't know. I don't speak other languages, but uh, I just got done reacting to um. Asara's Jinbei track, which I really enjoyed. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. I might even leave a link in the description for you to see it. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, I decided to go with, like, a One Piece theme type of thing. And I know that in the story, Ace and Jinbei were pretty good friends. So I decided to go Jinbei for him and Ace for this. So... They, the two songs might have nothing to do with each other at all, but that was just the type of pattern that I decided to go with for the day. Stop. We're doing smooth transitions into hard rock stuff already. Stop. I really like how this one stands on its own. Like, it sets itself apart from the other two Enigma reactions that I have done. The first two that I have done were for his um, Overhaul song and then his Crollo Lucifer song. And each of those were, like, seriously, like, hard rock mosh pit type of songs but this one is very different compared to those two and i love it and i just want to point out the difference because i haven't heard enigma sound like this so far this one is a lot more uh sort of like the djembe track that i just listened to from bizarre it's very pulled back you know like more of like an emotional type of thing i again the other Enigma songs that I re that I reacted to could have been emotional, but I don't understand the language, so I can only go from what I hear. And this one sounds like pure raw emotion. I don't know exactly what type of emotion is being conveyed, but it sounds like something of an um, "I miss you" sort of thing. At least that's what it sounds like to me. That's what I. That's the type of vibe that I get off of this. I could be completely wrong, but. I really like how his voice sounds in this one. He's holding notes in this one too, huh? Não posso acreditar no que aconteceu. O sabo morreu. Sou tão pequeno frente a esse mar. O sangue impuro corre em mim. E se a minha chama se apagar pra te proteger. Quando fiz 17 
frente da minha casa eu parti Preciso ter minha tripulação e meu sonho seguir No caminho consegui That was really cool. I like that smooth transition there. He does smooth transitions quite a lot in this song. We've had it with different like flow switches and then like uh, instrumentally or musically or whatever the terminology would be for it. Uh, the song goes or switches from like soft rock to a sort of like hard-ish rock, which is really cool. So to hear him go from that melodic singing section into this section sounding like a melodic rap was actually I like it. Another flow switch. This is just full on hard rock at this point. And then he switches again. This is really good. Before we go back, again, I just really love the transitions and the switches in this one. I think he's done them more in this one song than he has in the other two songs of his that I have reacted to. This is really good because I like how it sets itself apart from the typical rock rap tone that I hear from him. This one is like more emotional, more gritty, like more like sad. Like I really, really like it. This is really good. I'm adding this to my playlist after this is over. I didn't get it in time but uh i also really like the final strings that played at the end there as the song was coming to a close that was actually really cool too yeah honestly out of the three songs that i've heard from enigma so far this one i would say is my favorite uh it just it's so different like, I just love the pure, raw emotion that was in this one. Like, again, don't know what was said, but honestly, it does not matter. Because, like, you don't really need to understand what's being said to grasp 
the sensation of emotion. And that is what this one was. Pure, raw emotion. And I loved every second of it. And the beat, so good. The switches out of this world. And yeah, I loved it. I, I loved it. That That's all that's going to be said for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.